Hello, peeps. How you doing? Another well, week has gone by. It's been interesting weather for the UK this week. Thunderstorms and lightning. It's very, very frightening indeed. I can't believe I did that. That was the worst. So, what have we been doing this week? I hope you've had uh, a good week. And I shall tell you what I've been doing this week. Uh, so, Tuesday, maybe? Uh, I went to see The World's End, the new Simon Pegg, Nick Frost film directed by Edgar Wright, part of the Cornetto trilogy, um, which was great. Uh, I had a blast watching that. It was very funny. So I don't generally go and see many comedies at the uh, cinema. But it was a laugh out loud type of comedy, which was good because sometimes you watch comedies and they're like, eh, it's quite funny. <laughs> but you won't actually laugh properly. Like a proper, proper laugh. You kind of chuckle maybe or giggle a bit, but not a proper laugh. Um, but this was great. If you liked Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, you will definitely like this. Uh, and if you haven't seen either of those films, then you probably should, because they're awesome. Yes, indeed. Next week, uh, I shall be seeing The Wolverine, which looks quite interesting. And what else? Oh, I've been catching up on um, some news from Comic-Con. Found some videos of the different panels. Um, the Marvel panel was quite interesting. There, was it November... Early November, I think Thor 2 will be coming out, and they're almost finished filming Captain America 2, which is going to have Black Widow and Nick Fury and a bunch of other people from S.H.I.E.L.D. in it, and uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, which looks quite interesting, because so, they've got Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen in it as... Xavier and Magneto, but they've also got Michael Fassbender and um, James McAvoy also as Xavier and Magneto, but obviously at different timelines. So I'm not sure what the story is or what the plot is, whether it's based on a comic book, but there's obviously some kind of backwards and forwards in time stuff going on. Um, I'm not quite sure how that fits into the current films that are already out as far as uh, like timelines are concerned. I think The Wolverine, the new one, is supposed to be set some time after X3 where Jean Grey goes mental and yeah, Wolverine has to... If you haven't seen that film, you... Well, it doesn't matter because it's really old, so if you haven't seen it then you're probably not interested uh, in which case it doesn't matter if I give you any spoilers okay so that's cinema stuff I'm going to try and keep this a bit shorter because I've been noticing that these videos have been getting longer and longer and longer and longer as the time has gone on and they were only ever supposed to be sort of 10-15 minutes and they've been kind of creeping up to like 20-21 minutes so I'm trying to keep this short as possible um, so DVDs, I watched Castaway, which I bought the other week with Tom Hanks. I haven't seen this film in ages. Um, great film, great film. You kind of if, like this whole desperation of being alone and never seeing the people you care about ever again. That's pretty harsh. It's pretty, uh, yeah, not a nice thought particularly, but uh, it's a great film. Um, I watched uh, it was cheap okay don't judge me <laughs> Tower Heist with uh, Ben Stiller and Eddie Murphy uh, I quite like Ben Stiller movies in general I find them quite amusing and uh, apparently The Sun says it's very very funny uh, it was quite funny in places but uh, it was like any other Ben Stiller movie, really. I guess it was a bit like um, 
Ocean's Eleven, like the remake. I'd kind of compare it to that as because it's obviously a, about a heist. Um, but like even down to the style of music that they were using. Um, obviously, it was based more on comedy because they generally are comedic films that Eddie Murphy and Ben Stiller are in. But yeah, it wasn't like, oh my god, they're so funny. <laughs> It wasn't like that. <laughs> Not that I ever do that at <laughs> films anyway, but you know what I mean. Uh, and the last film that I watched uh, was In Time, which uh, I quite liked the idea of. I didn't really know much about it. Uh, I think I saw one or two trailers for it ages ago. Again, this was like cheap. It was like, I don't know, three pounds or something. Um, and... Yeah, I thought I'd give it a go, give it a try. Um, and it had Killian Murphy. Is it Killian or Cillian? I'm not sure. Anyway, it had him in it. And uh, Olivia Wilde, who is stunning. Um, but it's kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde type, Robin Hood type film, only set in the future. And instead of money, t they have time. Instead, that's... So they use time to purchase things, uh, and they have like a built-in clock in their arm, which counts down. And then obviously, when it gets to zero, you die. So, yeah, the 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 people who are rich get to live for years and years and years and years, like three hundred years or whatever. Uh, and the people that are poor, because the the clock starts when you hit your twenty-fifth birthday, so. The people who are poor don't generally live much longer after their 25th. Um, and obviously, poor people in general will struggle because uh, until that, until your kid, if you have a kid, and then that you can't use any of that kid's time to buy groceries or whatever until they hit 25. Um, so, because that's when their clock starts. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit messed up, but it was kind of fun, and as I say, I quite like the idea of what to do with the time that is given to you uh, and stuff, and I like that idea. So yes, and it, the fact that it's Justin Timberlake, I didn't really care. It was good, good fun. Um, games. That was a little break. I don't know what that was really. Uh, games. I have been playing, I played some Bioshock which you'll see soon. Um, I need to play some XCOM and record it because I think I've got, I think the three episodes that I've recorded and edited and rendered are all out. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, I've recorded some Dust which you'll see soon as well. Um, I've been playing, I bought a game on the last day of the Steam sale recently called Tidalus, which is just like a puzzle game thing where you match the different colours up and stuff, just to pass the time really. I quite like these little puzzle games every so often and I've had a ton of um, YouTube videos to catch up on uh, from all the people that I'm subscribed to. <laughs> so I kind of have that on at the same time and I kind of just have that on as like background type stuff just so I can try and catch up because I think at one point I had like 40 videos in my watch later list and I was like oh should probably watch some of that <laughs> uh, that's the problem with having as many subscriptions I think I've got like 90 subscriptions or something and with all the Comic Con stuff as well which is I was watching like people uh, put up uh, entire panels um, so I watched like the Game of Thrones panel and I'd say the Marvel panel um, I think there was another one that I wanted to watch I was thinking it was the Warner Brothers panel but um, I couldn't find any videos of that anywhere so pff, I'm not really sure what was going on there um, but yes but I have started playing what did I start playing I think it was two games. Oh, Trials Evolution, the motocross game, 
which I shall hopefully be doing some recording and putting a few of those up. I'll try and keep them fairly short videos there. And uh, I started playing Dishonored today. I've seen, uh, I saw a couple of, a few videos of a playthrough that Jesse Cox was doing like when it first came out and I bought it recently in the Steam sale and I noticed that Sips had started doing a playthrough of it and I was just like, I really should play this myself because uh, quite often if it's a game that I don't have any interest in playing myself but still would quite like to see what's going on then I quite like watching the let's plays of them or if it's a game that I'm not intending on getting it's like when it first comes out and waiting for like steam sales or whatever um, and then I'll watch it but uh, yeah I, I don't think I watched the any of the playthroughs like all the way through I think I only watched like the first few episodes so I've kind of pretty much caught up with like what I'm doing in the game as to what I'd seen previously so um, yeah quite enjoying that it's I've got it on normal difficulty and I'm finding it quite a challenge already but I think that's just because I'm making silly choices as far as like I'm trying to keep it as non-lethal as possible but uh, <laughs> not doing very well as far as that's concerned um, because as soon as you get discovered, you kind of have to kill everyone, or run away, and sometimes you get trapped, or sometimes I get trapped because I'm stupid, uh, and the only way you can get out of that situation is to uh, slice everyone to bits with the sword, or shoot them with your incendiary bolts on your crossbow, or whatever. So yeah, not the best, uh, but yeah, I'm getting through it slowly. Um, but yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm quite, in, I'm, I'm finding it quite fun. Uh, I bought the DLC for it as well when I bought it because it was all ridiculously cheap at the time during the Steam sale. I think it was like a, f a flash deal or something, or the deal of the day. So it was like well, seventy-five percent off or something ridiculous. All good though. All good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, is that everything? Um, Went to see my best friend's band play on Friday night called... Was it Friday night? Yes, Friday night. Uh, a band called Stonewire. You should check them out if you like kind of classic rock. Um, they do kind of covers of like Led Zepp and Beatles and uh, Black Sabbath and that kind of classic rock, cool classic rock stuff. Um, but they're also doing their own stuff as well. So... Uh, yeah, you should check them out. I think they have a Facebook page, so if you just do a search on Facebook for Stonewire, uh, you'll probably find them. Uh, I think they have like a CD available and stuff. I don't know. Um, and yeah, went out for a kind of party, house party type dinner thing last night, which was great fun. Got to hang out with my friends which I don't do as often as I'd like because, you know, we all have commitments. They have kids, which is the biggest commitment of all, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, yeah, it, when we do get together, it's nice and we kind of make the most of it, which is great. Yes, it is. Um, oh, and Ben makes the best, like, lemon tart we were all uh, stunned that it, we thought he'd bought it from a shop but he made it it was that good it was like you know if you were to spend going to like Marks and Spencer's or somewhere posh and, and buy a big like lemon tart thing that's what we thought it was but it wasn't he just made it himself so if you're watching this Ben well done it was glorious um so yes, that's going to be me done for this week. This has probably gone on for as long as the other ones have gone because I just go blah 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 blah. Um. <laughs> so yes, I shall let you know what the Wolverine is like, and um, I think that's it. Yes, I'll see you next week. Bye bye. You can, you can go there.